All right, today for your destruction pleasure, just like the good old days when I used to just smash shit for no reason, I have this deluxe Zenith VCR. Let's plug it in here. It still works, but it's just a waste of space. Hi, prepare for destruction. And I have this lovely cloudy water. Hmm, I wonder what could be in there. Just give it a nice little, little bit of... Ooh. Ooh. I see the power supply giving off a wee bit of smoke. You don't want to overload the thing with salt water or else the breaker just trips. This breaker always trips whenever I do this salt water stuff. So I'm just going to slowly pour it in there. I hear it boiling. Sounds very nice. Smells good too. Oh, nice. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, come on. I see it arcing. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Now something's happening. Yes! It's done. It gave out all the excitement. It gave out... All the magic smoke has been let out, so... Oh well. I found a new weapon to smash this thing with. So let's, let's test it out. It's untested. Zenith really was the zenith of poor quality in the 90s. Well, there you go. We'll get like five cents of scrap metal. 
and a big mess. All right, I'm gonna do this one with the um, with it turned on. I've uh, chiseled I've chiseled a hole in the side of the TV with my pliers so that I can stick something in there and smash that thing. I will grab a nice wooden stick. Not a metal one. I wouldn't want to get shocked on the high voltage. That's why wood is good. All right, let's, let's see this. Get it in the shot there. All right. Oh my God. I might need to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> or maybe I'll just line up the shot really good. Like playing pool. Playing pool, yeah, that's right. Oh! Did I get it? Well, that was lame. All I did was disconnect the little circuit board at the back that plugs into the CRT. I hear high voltage. And it still works. I'm not surprised. These things last pretty good. Pretty indestructible. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> All right, now for the gramophone. This thing, uh, I think it needs some adjustment. It doesn't, the speed isn't correct. So to do that, you need one of the uh, speed adjustment devices like this one. This will allow you to properly calibrate the speed on your gramophone for that perfect audiophile playback. I think uh, this record arm here is a little bit ugly. I think we should start by modernizing this turntable to eliminate this unnecessary piece of design. Oh no, I unfortunately broke off the tone arm. Looks like this is a wireless record player now. And uh, you got it. To modernize your turntable, you uh, should drill out holes in the platter to make it lighter so that it spins easier. See, just like that, you can create a nice pattern of holes. We'll go for one on this side now. There you go. I think this is uh, calibrated now. We should uh, test it out. There's only two wires on this gramophone because this uses a Bluetooth device to uh, transmit the audio to your Bluetooth speaker. All right, let's grab a power cord and connect it up. Right. Now we'll have to turn it on here. Where is the power switch? There we go in the on position. And make sure the wires were not shorting out or anything. That would be bad. Oh boy, nothing is happening. I think the switch might be defective. Oh well, it needs more adjustment. to eliminate all the unnecessary components. All we're left with is the lovely motor. Oh, I don't think that's gonna run again.